to do today is gonna be a good day so today i have a lot of work planned so this is my workspace and as you can see it's always a mess clean it up one day next day it's completely messed up so i plan on moving some stuff around but to do that i need to move judas around so let me bring you guys up to speed with all what we have done with judas over the last few months i believe it's been eight eight months come to think of it was may last year since judas went down so roughly eight months so i started working on it again as you can see here our engine bay is complete we have a glare coming in hopefully it's not too bad guys let's see if i can move out of the way yeah so the for the most part we have a new turbo um the car original the gt2871 on there i pulled that off because that was leaking oil tried the 3076 i did not like it after i crunched the numbers so i ended up with a t3 t4 from max spinning rods and again the harness from the last time around it's all done the engine bay is really dirty because the car has literally been sitting without a hood in the open you can see from the the windscreen as well it's filthy covered with dust so the plan is to take it out wash up the engine bay and then hopefully paint all of this so that we have a really nice engine bay and the last time around i had the harness all done <laughs> I did not show you the finished installed product. So there it is. So the harness is in the location I said. It's a Link G4 Plus Fury ECU. Only difference is I did not end up using the fuse box. I ended up just replacing the entire fuse box with just this one relay with an integrated fuse. And this fuse is enough to power my entire harness. Okay, I have, still have a mechanical oil pressure gauge, even though I have oil pressure monitoring on the ECU. Uh, still waiting for a connector for that. And uh, I have a switch panel loosely mounted here. I have some wires running under there for my water methanol, AEM water methanol kit. But for the most part, the installation is done. Just need to tidy up a bit. So today I am going to be removing judas from where it is and hopefully it's gonna go over here do some cleaning so judas is going to take its maiden voyage and you're also gonna get the first oh, one second the first start out of judas so let's get that going okay so on the engine bay we're just doing well, what final once over i think we have coolant in there uh, I have my laptop in there. I'm going to try to start it up and let it warm up, check for leaks, and then we're going to try to move it about. So let's get that going. Um, the cell is in the back. Need to double check if I have any fuel in there, please, because we need fuel. And let's try to do this one and then. Okay, we have about bottom of the cell, so about maybe half a gallon in there. Come on, stop it. Okay. Um, still have some loose spots in there from another project. But uh gonna need to hook up the laptop and see if we can get it to start. Okay. Fuel pump is priming, so that is good. So I already went ahead and I messed with the tune offline since I I was, I'm still using that. Whoa. I'm still using the tune from the last time around, the last time the car was running. So, um, for the most part, it should have a good enough tune in there. But I messed with the pinouts for the inputs and the outputs in the ECU. So, let's prime that a couple more times since the lines would be empty. Right, last time, gonna try to start it off without any throttle and let's see if we get a start out of it. Uh, or hopefully we don't end up in a ball of fire. Make sure it's in neutral. Do that nervous shake a couple times. <laughs> All right, so here it goes.
So the hose I'm pinching is actually the idle control valve. Um, so, oh, I see the problem. Coupler is not hooked up, so that's why it's idling a little bit high. Um, and I see a water leak coming from the water pump. I'm guessing it wasn't sealed properly. Yeah, it's coming. I'm not sure if I can zoom in. Yeah, it's coming from the back of the water pump. So it's not a big deal for now. I don't see any other fluids leaking. So that's good. No oil. I don't even have clumps on the turbo return. Um, could not find mine. So it's just shoved in there, but it's not leaking for some, some clumps on there i throw on my honda radiator just to have something in there this is going to be replaced with a full rad no clumps on there either but i mean it's enough just to get a start out of it and uh yeah so it's looking good so what i will do now i'll set up the camera and i'll actually <laughs> power up the laptop to see the vitals of the engine and then we will just take it from there right so super nervous as you can tell um, the first start are always, what is the dog doing? Yeah, first starts are always super, super scary because you never know if you got something wrong, might have a massive fuel leak. I'm, I'm thankful that uh, I'm not seeing any fuel leaking or anything. So that's good, it's only a water leak, I can leave it for water leak. Um, it's now I'm rumbling, so set up the camera and I will take it. I'll go back and forth. Let's see if we can actually get it to do its maiden voyage. Okay, so I should have done that. Hooked up the laptop, but and just now turn on the ECU. Power it up. Okay, so with that quick start, we have about 42 degrees Celsius of coolant temp and intake temp is about 26. So warm day here um, let's try to prime this again let's see what we can get for fuel pressure all right so it's a 270 and it's a bit low battery voltage is good so let's try firing it up again and then we will take it for the actual maiden voyage <laughs> So, okay, all lame jokes aside, Judas is outside. Um, right now, I just need to snow water here. I need to clean up the mess. Apparently, Judas is a bedwetter. So, I need to clean up all of this mess, put the hood or bonnet back on Judas, cover it up, because it does have a small rust spot in the roof. And as soon as I get some water in the tap, I will 
wash it up uh, i'm not sure when that is gonna be tonight tomorrow whenever but for the most part this is gonna wrap up our video so judas dries judas has a couple of licks Need to start out again but uh drive so catch you guys later thanks for watching stay safe